nerderotic.com. All right, before we get into the ghosted stream, ghosted super chat, square up, I would like to make a very brief statement about Robert Meyer Burnett. Now, I did discuss this on my chill stream earlier today, but I was in chill mode. And I don't really discuss these things in detail on Twitter because you can't. I can't discuss anything that limits me to 240 characters. Have you heard how much I talk? Now, Robert Meyer Burnett is a good man. He's a friend. He has integrity and didn't deserve being betrayed by his friends. He put up a salty tweet over that policeman, uh, David Dorn, who was executed in front of a pawn shop by a looter. And he was emotional, like we all were when we saw that video. It was disgusting. And anybody who doesn't feel disgust when they see that isn't a good human being, isn't a human being, and needs serious help immediately. Now, anybody who manipulates a situation for personal gain, especially one like this, needless to say, is somebody you want to stay as far away as possible from. And I will say, Robert, you are free. You are free from the people. You do. You are not beholden to them for anything. And you are now, this is now an opportunity for you to grow your brand, the brand of Robert Meyer Burnett. And you found out who your friends were during this situation. Now, if you hadn't heard, he is a manager for some show called The Schmodown, which I've never seen. It's something from Collider, which I haven't watched a lot. And he was let go, dropped like a bad habit because of a tweet. And it wasn't as bad as people make it out. It probably could have been worded a little better, but that's not for me to say. I've worded tweets poorly as well. Robert deleted the tweet. He apologized sincerely. And again, this man has integrity. I, he is welcome on my channel anytime. And of course, his friends, friends he's had for years, all bailed him within minutes, hours. So the teachable moment here to use some of their language is there are no friends in Hollywood. There is only strategic associates. This is something I learned when I started working there immediately. I had always heard it, but it's one thing to hear it and another thing to actually experience it. And I know how shitty it feels. And especially somebody like Robert. And that's why that's the Hollywood system though. And that's why we get so many shitty people there because shitty people excel in Hollywood. Putting a knife in your friend's back is considered a strength in Hollywood. And a weakness is empathy, kindness, in, uh, integrity, trust, loyalty. These are all weaknesses in Hollywood. And this is why I am grateful to this very day I decided to leave. And I just feel bad for Robert. Again, this is an opportunity for you to grow your brand. You are, you do not have to kiss these people's asses anymore. Now he did apologize and I wouldn't have, but that was his decision. And I respect him for what he did. He's got his bills to pay too. And for the people who would turn on your quote unquote friend, the only thing you should be asking yourselves, and I mean every single one of you, Christian Harloff and the other guy who betrayed him. I don't even know who the hell he is. Sorry. No, I'm not sorry. I'm glad I don't know who Mr. Irrelevant is, who decided to try to make Robert Meyer Burnett irrelevant. But again, Robert got to, to know who his friends were. Credit to John Campia for not bailing him. So yes, thank you. Again, back to the question Christian Harloff and Mr. Irrelevant should be asking themselves is when is it going to be my turn? When am I going to get canceled? Because when you play manipulative games, you get manipulative prizes. But to Christian Harloff in particular, that ass buster for fandom, that guy busting his ass for you and me and everyone for fandom, for Star Wars. You were from Collider. You have, uh, I think, 100,000 more subs than I do on this channel. Now I'm on Nerdrotic Live. I don't think Robert Meyer Burnett's your problem. I really don't. I see those views. And again, this is a channel with 100,000 more subs than my, in mine. And, you know, I don't like to flex. L listen, it can all end for me tomorrow. I understand this. But uh, channel traction is 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 something you should definitely worry about. And that is the opposite of traction. And look, the day 
Robert Meyer Burnett was canceled. They just so happened to go down quite a few subs. So what plays well on one platform doesn't necessarily play well on another. What plays well on Twitter obviously doesn't play well on YouTube, where you can actually make an argument and have a debate if you need to. And it's okay to disagree with Robert. And if they wanted to put him on suspension or have him lay low for a few days, fine, whatever. But to publicly shame the man, publicly shame the man. And then he apologizes and then you, you just kick him to the curb. You drive the bus under, over him. Everybody saw that, Christian Harloff. Everybody saw that. And of course, your little sycophants and kiss asses are going to go into your live stream and say, you made the right decision. That was the really teachable moment. God damn. I'm glad those people aren't around my channel and those people are not my life and Christian Harloff's are not my life. I am grateful for that. And hopefully Christian feels shitty because he should. And hopefully this is a teachable moment for him because I watched his live stream and it was hard to watch. It was hard to watch. That wasn't a man I was watching. I was watching a boy. I was watching a boy. So yeah, I'm pissed. I held back for a couple days. This is me sleeping on it. Um, disloyalty is um, ah, one of the worst sins to me. You can make mistakes. Absolutely make mistakes. But just to turn on somebody at the drop of a hat, you know, not all relationships work out. I Believe me, I know that. Oh man, it's just, you know what? I, it requires respect to be disappointed in somebody. So I'm not disappointed in Christian Harloff, but you go keep busting ass, buddy. I'm disappointed for Robert Meyer Burnett because he didn't deserve that at all. So, and again, John Campia stood by him. He did it in a John Campia way, but he stood by him. And that's good enough for me, honestly. And I wish Rob, I, you know, I don't want to make things worse for him, but I'm not going to be buddies with anybody at Collider. I, as a matter of fact, like I n never watch the channel. And the only time I ever go to Collider is when Collider is making the news. Uh, how are those deep fakes going, by the way? Good. I hope. I hope they're going really good. Okay, let's get to the Super Chats here. Oh, whoops. Let's get to the Super Chats. So we will start out with the Motley 1969. He says to dig your channel for $200. And I'm grateful for all of you. And again, I have screen capped each individual super chat and we will go over all of them here and give them their due respect because they deserve it. You deserve it. And I am grateful for you. The Motley 1969 year I was born. The Beatles were still together. Uh, I dig your channel too. I hope but my new chair isn't making noise. That would suck. I got rid of my old chair because it was making noise. And where was I? There we go. Ian for four ninety nine. dollars Red Letter Media destroyed Star Trek Picard in their new review, and it's sitting at almost a million views. CBS is grasping at straws with a third new series in as many years, and not the one that they had announced. As a matter of fact, it's not one of the three that they had announced. They had announced a Lower Decks, uh, a Nickelodeon, and Section 31, and Strange New Worlds is the only one that gets any buzz, and it's another white captain. How disappointing. Uh, the, the most disappointing thing, folks, about Star Trek is they probably actually think that's what the fans want. I think this is an olive branch to all the fandom. And I think that's what they actually think we want because they have been painting us that way for so long. As a matter of fact, I'm still dealing Star Trek fans are, uh, listen, some of the people who are Star Trek discovery fans or the trolls or who, I don't know if they were sent out by CBS. They are, they try to be so vicious. I mean, they can't, you know, land a single blow. You're still alive, my old friend. Still old friend. You've managed to kill just about everyone else, but like a poor marksman, you keep missing the target. But they're vicious. Oh, they're vicious. And it's hilarious because you want to shut me up? Make good Star Trek. It's pretty simple. 
And I don't care who the captain is. You could have a black female captain. I'd root for her all damn day. Just give me a good story. Niku-san for $4.99. Did you see Midnight's Edge take on Ruby Rose being fired? Interesting food for thought and not surprising if at all true. Well, with the news that we got today that they will be replacing Kate Kane as a character. So we're going to get some hard-hitting lesbian who lives in a van down by the river and she's going to be Batwoman. It's going to be utterly ridiculous. And I guarantee you that decision was made over the last five days. You can fill in the rest. So um, that show is going to be a failure and forgotten. It was a failure. And I think you have to ask Ruby Rose. Maybe it sat in that she was just hired because she was LGBTQ and pretty and she has no talent as an actress. And it must suck. And apparently she didn't like wearing the costume. So I can believe that she got fired. Yeah, but I mean, now they're going to replace the character. That, that should work out just fine. Uh, Siri Causeway for five pounds. This stream was especially difficult to find, but nice surprise. Yes, thank you. And that's the ghost stream I'm talking about. So when a stream is ghosted... It does not show up in your subscription feed. You have to go to rec directly to the channel to find it. This is a YouTube bug that's been going on since the lockdown. I'm guessing it's due to bandwidth. I have tried to contact YouTube about this. And I've got the usual YouTube crickets. I'm not Jake Paul or Logan Paul. I can't have, uh, you know... I can't... Uh, should I go there? Yeah, I can't loot... Uh, an Arizona mall and then have my brother cover for me for the next day. You know, I don't got Susan's digits. I don't. Modalicious. Never hug the toddler bombers, the toddler bombs, never hug the toddler bombs. They'll get you. Thank you. Thank you. Modalicious. I can, I can always count on you. And I thank you. Uh, winter toker. What's up, dude? Toker. Uh, do you toke in the spring and summer? Or is this only a seasonal toking? I'm curious. Uh, didn't, get a didn't get a notification for this stream or last video, YouTube. Still did pretty well. So I'm grateful for that. Nano Reaper for $2. Release the Snyder Cut is so we can see it sucks. Hey, if w that's fine, I, if l I don't expect a masterpiece at all, I'm way more interested. I'll be honest with you in release the air cut, because I think that can be an improved movie. <laughs> well, that's all you can do with that movie. Uh, the Snyder cut will probably be a Snyder cut, but I'm happy for the fans. That's, that's all, you know, I listen, those movies, they can suck all they want. They aren't, they aren't filled with identity politics. They're just superhero movies. IK1906 for $5. Did you see your boy Zach vid about Diamond resuming shipping and the shipping shipment is damaged and Jeppy's letter is damaged? Yes, I'm being sent those emails as well. And it's hilarious. Uh, by the way, your boy Zach will be on Friday Night Tights this Friday. God, it's all working out. Andrew Jepp. Jeppesen for $20. This is the best channel I have found since Red Letter Media. Keep up the good work, Gary. I also vote you to move to the great state of Utah. We have ultra nerds who will welcome you. The alcohol is scarce, but the ice cream is not. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I love ice cream. I do. Uh, not that often, you know, like once every couple of weeks, but I, but I do. It's especially good after a live stream. Uh, Utah is actually one of the states we are possibly thinking about moving to because Melissa, uh, Mrs. Nerdrotic, has a lot of family there. Uh, Winter Toker just wanted to say hey and send some love. Thank you, Winter Toker, for the $2 and hey to you. Uh, finally hit a live stream from the Central, Z Central Zone here, oh, from Germany. From This is from Central European time zone. 
Here, have some German bratwurst money. Keep it up. Stay safe. You too, brother. Thank you. Uh, Nicholas Horton for $5. Hail, Gary. The Expanse is so good. Nearly finished season three. The big ring reminds me of Stargate from Stargate SG, from the Supergate from Stargate SG-1. And they might have taken that. They've taken a lot of things and put it into The Expanse, but they've done it right. It's a great show, Nicholas Horton. You are not wrong. Darth Sweeney is a member at the protomolecule level. Hank, thank you very much, Darth Sweeney. Aluvarian Aluvarian Imakara. Al Vrien, Al, God, I'm terrible with it. Alu Vrien, Vrienna. Oh, Alu Vrienna, Imakara. How do you humble a humble man, Kurtzman? Oh, you don't know what the word means. Just like you don't comprehend empathy, faith, or continuity. No, these are just words he heard and they are related to being nice to people, but he doesn't really understand them. Uh, this is from Evan S. for $4.99. Hail, Gary. I just wanted you to know which... I'll try this again. Evan S. for $4.99. Hail, Gary. I just wanted to know which do you and Mrs. Nerdrotic prefer when you're getting down Frack or Frell? Oh, I answered this one. Um, frack or Frell? Why limit yourself to just one? But thanks for asking. And I'm sure everybody wanted to hear that. That, that has got to be like hearing your parents getting down, right? Because, you know. But I got kids. And they didn't show up with a fucking stork. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Gary Tilbrook. Welcome to the protomolecule level. One thing, one thing kids prove. Your junk works. Uh, Mr. Insanity for $1.99. Hail. Hail. Where can I get that shirt, good sir? And I was uh, probably wearing the Nerdrotic shirt. Uh, we give them away on Schwag Sundays on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, instagram.com slash Nerdrotic. That is curated by Mrs. Nerdrotic. And she handles a giveaway every other Sunday. And if uh, she'll put up a post. And if you uh, make a comment on that post on Sunday, it enters you to win. It doesn't matter where you are. You can be anywhere. Antarctica might be a little tough, but you can be anywhere. I want to know if anybody's watching in Antarctica. I know it's, it's, they're probably not now because it's winter, but in summertime, I know people go down there like chefs and stuff like that. I met one. Uh, Massage R. Years of humanity, 1965 to 2015, reach the peak of civilization on freedoms, communication, tolerance medicine and so on it's taking it it's taking its downward turn um i hope not i think this is just a tumultuous time that will pass i do i don't want to give anybody any bad ideas but there's a lot of infrastructure that's still working and as long as it's working things will be fine these are coordinated protests it seems like a lot of the protests are just calming down and being peaceful. Not all of them. Uh, I know they're really focusing on the peaceful. I know there's still a lot of horrific things going on. And I hope all go um, meet their justice someday. And I mean all. Sending you this from the top of Russian Hill. Look at the bay. Gorgeous day. Make sure to enjoy it. Hail, Skeletal Bassman. I did. And it was a beautiful day in the Bay Area today. Uh, but I didn't get a lot of sleep last night because I was woken up by, and I said this on my chill stream, by a very, very strange sound last night. I was like, what the hell is that? And it sounded like, you know, you know, the freeway noise. If you live near a freeway, it's that constant noise you hear. Well, it was that, but it was amplified by like 50 times. It was loud and it was a lot of cars. Well, I found out what it was. It was the National Guard coming to San Francisco. She, if she wasn't straight, I'd vote Ronda Rousey for Batwoman. Ah, yeah, yeah, I would too. I would too. Thank you, uh, Kevin Boisenault for $5. And yeah, that's also against the law, but they're going to go ahead and do it anyway, what they're doing. 
Keaton Smith, thank you for the 99 cent donation. I greatly appreciate it. Iron Nurse for $2.99. Hail Gary, it's a good day to be the Fandom Menace. It always is. It always is. Because I love the Fandom Menace and I love you guys. It's a great hashtag. Watcher, $71.80 for $5. Move to New York. We're not as uptight as Californians and you can have a comic store there. Well, if it's like in the country, ah, thank you for the invitation. I, I truly thank you. Um, East Coast living is not for me. I'm going to stay in the West. What kind of felon did you beat up somebody who for insulting Star Trek? Asked John Boring for five pounds. Uh, no, no. Um, the non-violent kind. The drug-related kind. I did not um, physically hurt anybody in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I did not. I have not. Uh, well, I've never been busted for assault. I've gotten in fights. I've gotten in a lot of fights. A lot of fights, but um, never arrested for any. It's just, you know, dude stuff. That's all. But it was uh, nonviolent. It was nonviolent. Best time is now, nine ninety nine. You'll be happier and more successful once you move, bro. Do it. I, I yeah, I, I'm pretty. Listen, times are terrible right now but i mean my personal life is pretty happy pretty happy i'm happily married uh i love my kids i got three great dogs uh, my father-in-law is an awesome human being his girlfriend's very cool i got two moms who are crazy but both like just sweet as can be and uh you know uh i love my little sister and my big sister and i uh She's all right. <laughs> we don't get along very well. Uh, Matt G for five dollars. The beautiful and honorable Queen Wrench Mary Ashmead would like the official word that we can drop f bombs in here. So we, if we need a car video, and we need a car video from you. Well, you'll get a car video from me when I travel, which is very soon. And right as of now, no, we cannot drop f bombs in the chat anymore. Uh, I think it has a lot to do with the ghosting and it. If you need to drop the F word, just hit an asterisk. Okay, F asterisk C K. It's that simple. You don't, and it's not a free speech issue. Be and it's not because there is no free speech on YouTube for one. And if it demonetizes my video and it gets to less places, then the message doesn't get out. So that's why I'm not a free speech absolutist on this platform because you can have your principles all day long and you'll be sitting alone with your principles with nobody to hear you. And how good are you then? I know a couple of great YouTubers who were free speech absolutists and they're not here anymore and they were great and we missed them and I wish they would have swallowed their pride a little bit and realized that to change the game, you got to play by the rules for a little while. Uh, and then either create your own platform and go somewhere else where you can be as free as you want, but you got to pay your dues. You got to pay your dues. Have you paid your dues, Jack? The check is in the mail. Your game is sent via GOG. Enjoy your war crimes. Ah, thank you. Uh, oh, thank you very much. Thank you, John Doe for two pounds. I will, uh, I will check that out. Man, I wish I would have seen that sooner. Uh, Matthew Kerwing for 20 Canadian dollars. It can be optimistic all at once. Trek will not return until the bad robot aesthetic ethos is eradicated. CBS can make any goddamn series they want. Spock, Kirk, romance. Sure, why not? Pike's getting spanked by number one. Go for it. God, I love Matthew. That is passion. I felt that passion. in the, just oof. Okay, so... Um, Two things I want to discuss about Star Trek. Doomcock's rumor. And, uh, well, it's it's been a, it's a rumor that's been out there. Just Doomcock talked about it in his, in his last video. And the possibility of Star Trek being able to turn around. Um, I, was, I thought I was pretty clear in my video. So um, I'm, I'm going to restate it again. Uh, Star Trek is... Ain't turning around anytime soon, folks. Uh, I'm not saying it's impossible, but if it gets sold and it goes to a new, uh, if it, so say, say Doomcock is right and it gets sold within the next year to somebody, 
then they need to develop the series. So the person who buys the series needs to hire a showrunner. They hire, a, they go through the process of hiring a showrunner. Then they have to come up with concept. Then they have to cast. Then they have to build sets. Then they have to get financing. We are talking minimum five years. Five years. Star Trek is irrelevant now. Imagine how irrelevant it will be in five years. And the only way on God's green earth, you're going to get any interest in Star Trek as you put a marquee name running that show. Okay, who? You can't... Okay, Ronald D. Moore is a marquee name to me, but it's not going to be enough to give back what the company who will be buying it needs. They need like a James Gunn. That's just... The, I mean, I, I don't think he would be good for Star Trek, but somebody that big. They would need a big-time creative director with clout. I'm not saying James Gunn has clout. It was just the first name I thought of. Uh, somebody with a clout of uh, close to a Chris Nolan. Now, Chris Nolan would be terrible for Star Trek and wouldn't mess with it, but uh, I would have said Jonah Nolan, Jonathan Nolan, until he jacked up Westworld. God, what a disappointment. Uh, I don't know who's out there to, to drum up interest, to get investors, and to get normies back into Star Trek, because that's what we're talking about. We need to get normies on. And normies don't watch CBS's brand of Star Trek. They just flat out don't. Alex Kurtzman is a hack. Everybody knows it, except for CBS. I think CBS actually knows it. Unfortunately, what I have heard from the person I know who works at Viacom CBS is they are absolutely not getting rid of him. They are stuck with him. I'm not, that's not the terminology he used. I'm paraphrasing. Um, he will complete his contract. And I do not believe, I love Doomcock. I respect Doomcock. And Doomcock is going off what people have told him. So this isn't stuff he made up. Okay, this is, I, I, I know one of his sources. I don't know all of them. Um, and people tell him things all the time. I get told things too. Uh, I don't think as much as, as like Midnight's Edge and, and, uh, and Doomcock, because I don't necessarily run with rumors very much. I'd rather talk about what has happened. Uh, once in a while, I have a, well, I've actually talked about it in live streams. You want to dig for it. I won't, I'll probably do an individual video on it. I got a pretty, pretty juicy uh, Doctor Who rumor. So, uh, and it's from the same person who gave me the rumor about the, it being originally a female. So yeah, um, I don't think CBS Viacom is going to sell Star Trek because I think it's worthless without it. And it's not wor worth much with it. Star Trek has value, but it's not like Marvel comics or Star Wars, um, I could even, well, I don't know. Both Doctor Who and Star War, Star Trek are in the dumps right now as as uh, brands and franchises. And that is thanks to the showrunners not listening to the fans. As a matter of fact, letting the fans get in their heads so much that they try to troll them in the scripts. How pathetic is that? Um, so it remains to be seen. Grace Randolph originally ran with the rumor that Star Trek was for sale to Netflix about two months ago, two and a half months ago. So I don't know if it's just a continuance of that rumor or if this is a new party. I think Doomcock said this is a new party. I think he said three parties were interested in buying Star Trek, uh, but he didn't name them. Uh, so my guess is I never believed for a second Netflix wanted to buy Star Trek. I just don't believe it. That's what Grace Randolph said. I believe Amazon would buy Star Trek because I know Jeff Bezos is a nerd and he likes sci-fi and he could afford Star Trek and he could probably do something fun with it or something horrifically awful equal to what CBS has done with it. Don't necessarily, don't automatically think it's going to be better just because it's sold. That is not a sure thing. So I want to temper people's expectations. I don't want to, I want to give you a false hope that like we can turn this around. No, we, we, we can't. It sucks. We can continue to voice our discontent um, and not give them our money. The fastest way to turn this around is not subscribe to CBS All Access and do not use 
Well, I don't want to get too demanding. I don't use the, the hashtags. I don't use the hashtag Star Trek, Star Trek Picard, Star Trek Discovery, because that actually helps them. And same for Doctor Who and Star Wars. I do Disney Star Wars, RIP Picard, Fake Trek. Uh, yeah, I use other hashtags. That does help uh, the cause. So, um, yeah, I don't think it's for sale. And I think... I stand by what I said in my video. What we're going to get is what we're going to get. And it sucks. It's, it's a bitter, bitter pill to swallow. Uh, and yeah, I'm sorry. Thanks for sticking it out. Stunning and brave. Thanks. Thirteenth warrior for $2. Yeah. I stuck out the live stream. I usually restart my live streams, uh, when they get ghosted, but I stuck with it. Uh, Matt G. Thank you for the $1.49 uh, piece of cake. I appreciate it. We're going to wait for this to circle and circle and circle. Uh, Big Daddy MRI for $9.99. Here is a little something for your move, Gary. Hope it helps. Thank you very much, Big Daddy 999. I appreciate it. Uh, Shame Cat for $2. Release the Lord and Miller cut of Solo. Uh, I'm sure it would be better. I'm sure it would be better. And getting four times more viewers than Kevin Smith right now. And that was with a ghosted live stream. Thank you, Mr. Insanity, for $1.99. That does my heart good. Thank you, guys. Really. Uh-oh. Uh, boy. Where was I? There it is. Okay. Uh, the year 2022. Hey, Bob Nerdrotic just uploaded his Picard review. What's... His what? Never heard of it. Well, nor have I, Bob, but it looks like a senile old man gets kidnapped by space elves. Ah, yes, that's probably when my Picard review will come out. It is halfway done. It is finally halfway done. Uh, here is a few more to move. Thank you, Apollemy's Minion. Apollemy's Minion. Uh, thank you for the $10. Matt Guy for two pounds. Hey, Gary. Ever thought about moving to the UK? Yes, we have seriously thought about it, but um, uh, it's, I mean, it's honestly, it's so goddamn expensive there. No way. I want to move somewhere cheaper. Lady Gravemaster for $10. Joe Rogan has left YouTube for Spotify. Twitch in his, Lady Gravemaster for $10. Joe Rogan has left YouTube for Spotify. Twitch is into 1984 territory. Also, friend of mine plans to audition for Batwoman, and if they discriminate against her based on her sexuality, she says she'll sue. I hope she does. I certainly hope she does. Have Mrs. Jump on the Road Trip live stream. She will, Dark Star uh, 76 for $2. She will be joining. Uh, we'll do a live stream from the road. Uh, we appreciate you, Gary. Screw YouTube, says Bird of Prey 5. Thank you very much for the $2. I appreciate that. We appreciate you, Bird of Prey. The year 2042. Hey, Bob, I just heard the world will end in 20 minutes. Oh, damn, Nerdrotic just uploaded his Witcher review, and it's 32 minutes long. Bye. <laughs> Birdie, thank you. <laughs> God, I got to get those out. Eric K for $2. What the fuck is wrong with YouTube? I don't know, man. I don't know. Thank you, Eric K. Alien Matters for 285. Gary, remind YouTube we follow talent, not YouTube. Oh, you guys are the best. I'm assuming uh, you might be talking about other people, but thanks. Uh, Modalistus for $5. New camera? Nice. Also, my super chats are not hitting your screen. Probably something I said about Gotham in my video. Nope, it was YouTube, not you, buddy. Uh, new Messiah for 20 HRKs. Extremely likable shit. <laughs> uh, did you see Red Letter Media's Picard video? I did. It seems the gloves off, uh, for Mike when it's important to him. Welcome to true fandom. Now maybe they'll understand us. Uh, to treat us for $5, Mike rides the fence. He rides the fence, but I see you, Mike. I see you. He doesn't agree with us all the time. I'm sure he finds a lot of our challenge, our channels pretty cringe, to be honest with you. But um, there are times we, you know, I think we come together, and especially with Star Trek. I mean, look at, I mean, listen, people can blow me off or blow Doomcock off, but Robert Meyer Burnett, Red Letter Media, Critical Drinker, you know, 
uh, we're, we're most definitely on to something. We wouldn't lie to you. If it was mediocre Star Trek, I would be thankful. I would, I would literally be thankful. I would go, it's kind of mediocre, but I'm enjoying the hell out of it because it's Star Trek. Episodic, te- I was so excited it was coming back to TV. I can't even tell you how excited I was. I thought that was the best move. I had been bitching about that for years. I'm like, Star Trek belongs on television. F movies. Be careful what you ask for. Cesario, JPN for $2. Checked, only getting Nerdrotic Live in the sub feed. Gosh, dang it. Battle him, 63 for $2. You're showing live for me on my Fire Stick. Oh, that's great. Maybe yeah, Then it had to be a uh, desktop thing. Michael Maloney, thank you for the poop for 99 cents. Reminds me of San Francisco back in the old days, three months ago. New Messiah for 10 HRKs. Hail Nerdrotic from Corona Free Croatia. Hail Croatia. Gotta go there. Josh Krushk for $4.99. Stargate SG-1 moving sci-fi channel is why we did not get a season five of Farscape, I heard. Destiny Captain for a... Uh, and I love Farscape, by the way. It's great. Uh, Destiny Captain, Dar99. Gary, what about the three Stargate series? Just one of them, one at a time. Right now, I am watching Old Doctor Who. Venture Brothers, uh, occasionally old Star Trek. I'm going to be embarking on Buffy, Blake Seven. I'm rereading A Song of Ice and Fire. I'm also trying to get through some Indiegogo comics I was sent. Uh, I, I, I'll get to it. I, I, I will eventually get there. Uh, Viking Insane for two Canadian pounds. Gary, you should tell someone T. Louis, you should sell some T. Louis Touche t shirts. I really should. I really should. Matt G for a dollar forty nine. Thank you for the phallic unicorn. As a matter of fact, I can do a limited print run of T. Louis too, and we can just give them away on Swag Sunday. Rabbi Steve for a dollar ninety nine. Mazel tov. Uh, thank you for what you do. Thank you for what you do, Rabbi. Thank you. Three streams for a dollar forty nine and a phallic unicorn. Thank you, three streams, and don't cross them. Problem being for at one pound ninety nine. Blake Seven, proud of you, mad lad. How's it faring? Oh. I like. I finished season one, and I like it. I do. It's uh, Terry. It's Terry Nation, and it's it's uh, honestly the writing is better than I thought it would be. The characterization is great. Avon, dude. Zero duality for two Canadian pesos. Gary, did you hear? Uh, did you ever read Tech Wars by Shatner? No, I did not. I was aware of it. I sold. I had some comics, and I never read them. Uh, the Walt Man 4 for $9.99. Cheers from Marin. Decided to start my own company after losing my job in the virus ordeal. God damn, that sucks to hear. Didn't even tell us that they shut down the branch I worked at. God damn it. Uh, hoping for the best. I am too. Again, what I talked about with Robert Meyer Burnett. That is an opportunity. And if it works out for you, man, don't ever look back. Honest, I, I, I will sell hot dogs on a street before I go back to working for somebody. That would be kind of fun, actually. Robert Levito for a dollar forty nine. Thank you, Robert, and drive safely. He's one of those great truck drivers, especially now. Three D Trekker for twenty dollars. Three D Trekker, love what you do, brother, and thank you for the shout out on Instagram. Hail to the Phantom Menace. Never watch such filth on an epic vacation again. We were talking about Unicorn Store, dude. Unicorn Store, your channel has the best wrenches in the business. I do. I am spoiled, and I thank them all. Thank you, 3D Trekker. Normie Claus for $2. I nominate Daisy Taylor for the new Batwoman. I do, too. I do, too. Robert Massey, thank you for the $10. Hail, brother. A. Hatsuno for $5. What do you think about Valiant Comics? Can they pick up the current slack? Not as long as Heather Antos is there. Mr. Husono, uh, I'm going to call you A. A. I like the characters, and I think once she leaves, absolutely yes. Absolutely yes. Scott Rainford for two pounds. Time has never been better for an Orgasmo sequel. I could not agree more. I could not agree more. Hey, Gary, want me to forward you a key to Brigador? It's my favorite game, and I thought you'd like its setting. It's got a great synth music, too. Five pounds. John Doe, thank you. And that's what you sent to me. Okay, I, I got it, by the way. I got it. Thank you. I will start. That'll be a good thing to do on the road. 
Um, I don't know if you're going to get videos from me in a while and it's going to, it's going to hurt my channel a little bit. Um, I'll probably just do some Tim pool style from the road. Now I like to curate my videos. I like them to look the same and, but yeah, I'm kind of caught. I didn't get my green screen in time. I was going to green screen my, my background and it just hasn't shown up yet. So I don't know what to do. I don't know if I can go on the road trip. We'll find out tomorrow. Ruby Rose looks like a Pez dispenser. She is a Nano Reaper for $2. Hail, the cat or fox named Bushiba is a Japanese Shiba Un dog. Same as rags or EFAP, but call it what you can. Hashtag release the, release the own comic shop cut. Oh, I will, Draco. I will, brother. Adam C., welcome to the protomolecule level. I just sent you an email about the best Jim Garrison documentary I ever seen. The email is titled Urgent Exozone Content. Jim Garrison Documentary by John Barbour. Uh, Vince Hickey, uh, I will watch it before the Exozone tomorrow. Um, actually, I'll watch it tonight. I got your email. It's set aside. Which one, Batwoman, Mighty Spock, or Henry Cavill? Uh like which one I would do? Uh, God, it would probably have to be Batwoman. I don't know. I mean, Sonequa Martin Green is hot. She's hot, but she like she's also pretentious. Richard um, Henry. If I was uh, if I was gay, most definitely Henry. But I'm not gay, so. Something for your moving fund and no unicorns. You are quite the guy with all you have accomplished. Thank you, Michael Henley, and I appreciate it for the $12. I do appreciate it. Let's get uh, George Peter Gates. Hail Gary DM'd an email you. Just a heads up, can you carve out some time to meet regarding animated spheres? Uh, I can uh, soon. Soon. Mary Ashmead, you are not supposed to super chat because you're a wrench, but thank you very much for the... These are like farting uh, cats, and they fart hearts. Uh, she knows I like those. If you're going to fart, fart a heart. Destiny Captain, I still think digital watches are a pretty neat idea. <laughs> Hitchhiker, hail, Destiny Captain. Gunner, Renee, oi, welcome to the Geloja level. Gunner, I appreciate you. Zero duality for two Canadian dollars. Release the I owned a comic shop cut. Did you know that I used to own a comic shop in San Francisco for 10 years called the Comic Outpost? We have issues. Now you know. I think Jar Jar helped because if it were, if the rumors are true, the theatrical release wasn't his cut and he will want it to be released for his ego, says Diego Flores for five pounds. I will never question Jar Jar's ego. It's massive, it's disingenuous, and he is a giant, giant piece of shit. And I'm not holding back on that dude, especially what he did by exacerbating things over the weekend with some vague uh, show of support for people he could give two fucks about. He is in his $6.5 million mansion in Pacific T Palisades, and that's just one of his houses. He doesn't give a damn about you or me or any black lives. And I'm tired of seeing Hollywood use people and use causes uh, people who have genuine beefs, genuine causes for their cause. That is what I've been calling out. I've never been calling out a cause. If somebody has a cause and they want to get behind it and they want to make change peacefully, that's how it happens, man. And woman. But, you know, Jar Jar... Jar Jar goes out there acting like we're the ones who didn't cast women in lead roles or we're the ones who weren't uh, diverse enough with our casting. Well, by the way, fans don't cast movies. These are, these are tropes. These are, uh, these are things Hollywood has been doing for years. That is Hollywood value. And all of a sudden they discover diversity and they're think, they think they're the ones who invented it. Well, you know, some people were ahead of their time, like Gene Roddenberry and others. And there's a lot of shows that have been doing it for a long, long time. And Hollywood, like Jar Jar Abrams, is acting like they have only recently invented it. Could it be better? Sure. Talk to Hollywood, not to the fandom. 
The fandom just simply says, I like this show or I don't like this show. And when you fill something with partisan politics, you're automatically going to piss off the other side because you're trying to. So you can call them an ist and a phobe. And when you do it in hyper divisive times, when you do it like right now, that could actually, actually make things much, much worse like you already have. And I'm talking to Hollywood, not talking about protesters or any of that stuff. I'm talking about Hollywood. Probably the 1,000th person to ask you this, but have you seen Plinkett's review of Picard? It's okay. You can ask me as many times as you like. Wayward Astronaut for $5. I have seen it, and it is a masterpiece. It is a masterpiece of YouTube. Sorry, my... my I put my chair together, and I need to already tighten it. God dang it. I can do that later. Um, it's a masterpiece of YouTube. I like the chair, though. It vibrates. Oh, yeah. Lady Gravemaster for $5. The Snyder Cut news is incredible and a victory for all fans. Such a fan, such a fun and playful reveal. And I love that shills have to eat their woke. I mean words. The shills hated that because it is proof, genuine proof, that they're losing their influence. Their influence is lost. So look at Christian Harloff of Collider. He does all that ass kissing all day, what he calls busting ass for fandom. But what he's really doing is compromising himself daily, uh, destroying his integrity, in turn, destroying his self-worth, where as a grown ass boy, which he is, he has to grovel and throw somebody under the bus and then talk about it the next day talk about it that was i mean i i honestly almost felt bad for the guy again i'd have to have respect for him to be disappointed which i don't but that channel has no traction he is interviewing big stars and it gets five thousand views why because the interviews are boring he's not asking him any real questions he's just talking to them so he can go on and later the only reason he's doing the interview is so he can go on Twitter and say, I did an interview with so-and-so. I've talked to so-and-so. It's just for status. That's his currency. That's what, that's what rocks his boat. I wonder if that keeps him warm at night. I don't know. I don't know. But you know what? Imagine being in Christian Harloff's world. Because look at how he treats friends. So he must expect them to treat him the same way. The same way. So you're constantly in, just have your guard up because you don't trust anybody because you can't it must be horrible it must be a horror is it really worth that much i mean that is selling your soul for hollywood oh my god never what about star wars 9 the george lucas cut gilbert blow bull mendal for two pounds well if there's one i would love to see. no i wouldn't love to see it i still think it would suck i still think it would suck uh, Sir Ruin of House Roundhead for $5. Yesterday was the one year anniversary of the final episode of Game of Thrones, a day that will live in infamy. Were you mourning Game of Thrones yesterday? I was, I've been mourning Game of Thrones since it, so I did a wins a winner prediction stream, which I'm sure not everybody was happy with. We still had a lot of people. We still had 1,700 people watching me, like just pull wins of winner theories out of my ass. So I love you guys. I really do. John Zeller for $20. Glad to have you back. Glad to be here with you and the fans. Keep up the great work. And thank you, John. And I will thank you for the $20. I will continue to do my best. I'm not perfect all the time. I'm not perfect ever, but, uh, you know, progress, not perfection. Razorfist said he's on board for a live stream with you. He did? Well, shit. Okay. Okay. Can I be honest? I'm a little nervous. Email and Razor Fist. He's kind of like a star to me. <laughs> I will shoot him a. Uh, I'll, I'll sh Captain Spire. I'll shoot him something tonight. My first chat as a subscriber. Hail Gary. Alien Matters for two eighty five. And now I'm not going to be gentle. I'm going to be rough. 
Wheel in the sky keeps on turning. Mr. Insanity for $4.99. Here's some ice cream before you fast. Happy to have a day with some wins. We will not be silenced. Ghosting shall not stop us. Thank you. And my fast was put off until my road trip is over. I'm not going to go to San Diego and not eat Mexican food. So my fast starts in two weeks. I've got my kit ready and it's going to be fun. So yeah, I did call off my fast. I did do it for a day though, which was kind of a bummer. But then, you know, Mrs. Neurotic says, well, we're hitting the road. Maybe. I don't know. I sound super wish-washy because the National Guard's in my city and I don't know if I should leave. Or I don't know. I don't want to leave and then there be martial law and I can't get home. Tesseract. Hey, Gary, did you see the crisis on infinite Earths? The thoughts on an Arrowverse? Do you get the mag? Did you get the magnet yet? Have you seen the new P hard article? I've seen the new P hard article. Uh, I thought the Arrowverse had two good first seasons. Flash had a good first season and it went to absolute woke trash after that. Uh, the crisis on infinite earths was, uh, was a horrible disappointment to me. Sorry. I just think the CW is a waste of superheroes. Sorry. Um, and I have not checked. The magnet is probably in the P.O. box, which I'm going to in the next couple of days, hopefully. Uh, you took me back. Sin City was when I was in the shop every week. Sure, uh, sure I have every issue. Great comics. Peter Ford, they certainly were. God dang, I love Sin City. Uh, and thank you for the $4.99. Hail Gary in chat. Hail C Lab 2021. That is random zero duality, but Hail C Lab 2021. Uh, a Pike show would have me excited, but not from this team. If they borrowed writers' sets, cu- costumes from Star Trek continues, they could have a show. Uh, Athrun Zala, I am so down with that idea. Absolutely. And find a role for Vic Mignogna. Paisley Gemini for $4.99. Hail Gary, long live the Venture Brothers. Go team venture, right? I mean, dude, at right at my at my hands at my hands, right within reach. Venture Brothers, Venture Brothers. It's right there. I also have Planet of the Vampires. Somebody sent me Planet of the Vampires. I gotta see that. I have Red Dwarf. This is just the things that were said to me. The ninth configuration. This was uh, random, but you know, I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna, a little Stacy Keach action there. And of course, King Kong versus Godzilla. And I just got this the other day because it was cheap. I love the Mondo metal covers. Highland. There can be only one. I got something to say. It's better to burn out than to fade away. All right. I believe that's the last super chat, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, yeah, sorry it took so long to get this up. And um, everybody go and support and subscribe to Robert Meyer Burnett, The Burnett Work. He is a positive person. He doesn't really get in to the culture wars, but he speaks his mind. And we do not agree on a lot. Uh, Well, you know, I actually agree with him probably more than he thinks. But um, I don't agree with him on the MCU and Star Wars for sure. For sure. But this is a dude I would hang with absolutely hang with he uh he he's everything that's good about fandom and they did him wrong and he's always welcome here now i you know maybe he got turned on because he actually listened to us and gave us a voice and apparently uh that's just terrible terrible to talk to people we need to keep talking the minute we stop talking is the minute we lose it so hopefully saner calmer minds will prevail and we can uh stop freaking out our kids i know nobody gives i I hate to be the think about the kids guy but fucking think about the fucking kids mothers and fathers out there because there's plenty of mothers and fathers running around out there uh it's okay to support a cause and condemn violence at the same time i think that's a very very consistent point of view. Condemn violence of any kind. Uh, and overzealous police responses and looting people, their lives. Yeah, sure, it's just stuff. 
it's just stuff. But we can't assume it's just stuff. What if you get into a store and, you know, somebody's there working late and they have their kid there or something like that, you know? Uh, and, uh, and, and and sometimes it's not just stuff. Sometimes that stuff is how people feed their kids. And insurance won't pay for it all the time. Uh, anybody who has peaceful intent in their heart is a friend to humanity and goes out there and does the right thing to the people out there who are cleaning up after themselves. Good on you. Thank you. Uh, to the people trying to calm people down and create conversations. Thank you. To the people with common sense, thank you. And yeah, I'll see you on the Nerdrotic Nooner. This will probably air, I don't know if it'll air afterwards or not. If not, then I'll see you on Friday Night Tides with your boy, Zach. With your boy, Zach. Everybody, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for the super chats. And I will see you in the next video. May the wings of liberty never lose a feather.